Welcome to Building Ancient Egypt. Constructed with bricks made of mud, most ancient Egyptian buildings were not permanent. Only religious temples and funerary monuments were meant to stand the ravages of time. For these very important structures, Egyptians used limestone, sandstone, and harder materials, such as granite, quartzite, and travertine. These heavy stone blocks were so prized that they were often transported from quarries located hundreds of kilometers away. Limestone was common and easy to extract from quarries on the east bank of the Nile. This particular limestone had marine fossils in it, however, preventing it from being easily decorated and polished. Used as the main building material, the structure would then be finished with a finer limestone that was polished smooth and decorated as needed. Limestone was used for the building of the first pyramids and for most of the religious buildings of the Old and Middle Kingdoms. Ancient Egyptians preferred to use sedimentary rock beds or layers like sandstone and limestone because they were often easier to extract. The common method used to extract stone was the open pit quarry. Stone cutters would find quality stone, shape, and dig it out on site. Open pit quarries enabled many workers to work simultaneously on many blocks, which allowed for better productivity. Workers would draw a large grid directly on the stone surface, taking care to leave a space between the blocks. This allowed them to isolate the different blocks and create a trench that would make the extraction easier. Stone workers used iron chisels for hard rock and bronze or copper tools for softer rocks such as limestone. Removing material between each block created a trench line in some quarries, that trench was wide enough to accommodate a worker who would then cut the block entirely on site. For harder rocks like granite, workers cut a series of holes and hammered wooden wedges into them. They then soaked the wood until it swelled and caused the rock to split. The gallery extraction technique was used when the desired rock was buried under layers of rubble. This method was often necessary in order to find the whiter and finer limestone required for a smoother finish. The first step was for the stone workers to create an access pit that would allow them to reach the desired wall of stone. Once a wall of quality stone was exposed, workers could then cut out smaller blocks. This pit required a descending platform. Designed like a stairway, it allowed them to free multiple galleries of blocks. To cut the stone, they created a longitudinal kerf or slit and then cut the rock at a 90 degree angle. The lower side was determined along the geological layers or by using a horizontal cut. Wooden wedges were inserted in the rock and hammered in. Shock waves were then generated using hammers, fracturing the blocks at the seam. To maintain the stability of these mining pits over the course of quarrying, workers would leave support sections of unexcavated rock. In every quarry, dedicated shrines were established to offer protection for the workers. In particular, Circuit, 
the scorpion goddess, was considered a very powerful deity among quarry workers. Every mine and quarry of ancient Egypt included a scorpion charmer who was said to use magical powers to ward off the dangerous insects and keep the workers safe. 